Hey YouTube, this is Mike, and I just wanted to share a short little snippet from this episode that I really enjoyed. However, if you want to listen to the full episode, either scroll down this post or head to mikejamesreed.com forward slash podcast for the full episode. Thanks and enjoy. Kevin Dabrowski, welcome to the Dichotomy Podcast. Thank you. Awesome to have you here, dude. You know, I was going to start with the kind of, I thought a fun opening question was to ask you, could you describe a typical, you know, 24 hours of a day in the life of Kevin? But then uh, based on what we were talking about in the green room, I'm going to tweak that slightly and ask you, can you describe your last 24 hours? (laughs) (laughs) Sure. So a typical 24 hours would be that I wake up without an alarm which will happen sometime between 8 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. And I'll do a little bit of morning reflection, morning routine, reading, journaling. I'll eat something healthy and I'll count those calories because that's part of my current uh, fitness regimen. I'll throw some clothes on after I shave and walk down to Starbucks and sit there for a couple of hours and read and journal a little bit more. I'll do a creativity exercise. I'll generally bump into five or 10 people just randomly sitting in my little same corner every single day at the Starbucks patio in my neighborhood. That happened this morning, (laughs) same thing. The manager actually of that Starbucks has joked with me many times in the past couple of weeks that they want to put my name on that one table that I sit (laughs) on the patio. And I was like, let's talk. Let's make this happen. <laughs> Tired of your promises. Uh, this could be a really interesting exercise in personal branding, you know. <laughs> then I will head back to my place and grab my gym stuff and head to the gym for a couple hours and do some sort of physical exercise, lift some heavy things, and then I'll freshen up at the gym and then come back and eat something Locally, usually I'll eat like a healthy option in the neighborhood. And then I will grab a book again and sit up on the roof of my building. So there's a beautiful roof lounge I'm at the condo where I live in downtown Toronto. And I'll sit up there for a couple more hours. Maybe I'll put my toes in the pool. And uh, at that point, I might also do an hour or two of work on my upcoming online course. And possibly an hour or two of client work but I currently work about one and a half days a week in terms of direct client work. So it's not uh, burdensome. And then I'll spend time with friends and I'll eat something healthy again and wind down with maybe a little Netflix or maybe a hangout with some friends in a local spot. So uh, Kevin, I'm not going to lie. I'm uh, slightly envious of your typical 24 hours. So that's, I think, uh, amazing and fascinating to hear that that is your kind of standard day. Can you mm-hmm. can you share with us how did you get to that point where you decided this is how I want to design my life? Because I think for many people listening, for you know, we're all. I'm going to speak on behalf of uh, my audience that that would describe a pretty amazing kind of day in the life for anybody. So, so can you walk us through like what um, what were the the steps that kind of got you to to that point? So that started 20 years ago, to be honest. For the last 20 years, I've worked only two or three days a week with one little three-year gap in there about seven years ago where I was working four or five days a week. So it's been my lifestyle, to be honest. And even my ex, who I'm separated from, she also currently has works two days a week and has worked two days a week for 19 years. So my lifestyle has always been simple and, yeah, valued freedom over Ferraris, (laughs) as I like to say. Mm. (laughs) So, yeah, I love the freedom of schedule that I enjoy. I don't live in a fancy place. I don't have extra fancy clothes, but I love – I don't even own a vehicle right now, but I travel a lot, and I love my little life, and I love my routine, and – it's not like I'm suffering. I live in a beautiful little corner of downtown Toronto and I eat healthy, eat delicious food. And You know, Kevin, yeah. I think uh, this is a sign that we need to spend more time together because uh, <laughs> I, uh, I'm, I'm, pick, I'm picking I up what you're putting down, man. 